In Roblox, there are quite a few ways to define a color in your code. But what's the difference between all of them? Don't they all just get a color? Don't they all get whatever color you want? Well, let's get into all the color three functions in Roblox and see how they all work and see how they are different from each other. So when we open up a script, we can define a uh, data type called color three. And this gives us four functions uh, that we can use to define color three objects. And so let's go on with the first one, which is color three dot new. Basically, uh, this gives us a new color three. Uh, you know, it returns us a color object, and we can use this to colorize our objects, whatever we want that has the color property. And this goes off of a red uh, RGB values. Um, but the thing is, is that these numbers go from zero to one. All right. So if I were to put in one for the red, zero for green, zero for blue, it would obviously uh, be a red color because I'm not defining or giving any other hue to these other colors, green and blue. I'm defining just red, and as expected, it's red. And you know, if I wanted, if I wanted a uh, green color, well, I'll just put one here. And well, we have a green color. Uh, it's very simple. And let's say, you know, if we had all these to one, well, now we have white. And we can even mix these colors. And if we wanted an orange color, we would say one, 0 0.5, 0. And we have an orange color. Oh, well, you know, you don't have to come with all these values. And there's a color wheel right here, and whatever color you want. Um, but I don't really use this often. I don't really have a, a purpose of this, a point of this, and I'll get into why in just a second. But uh, that's color3.new. Uh, you can define RGB values from 0 to 1. Uh, so that's color3.new. Now, let's get into color3.fromRGB. Basically like color3.new, but you know we have our red, green, and blue values, but the numbers we put in here range from 0 to 255. So it's basically the same as color uh, 3.new, but uh, the components that we put in here are from 0 to 255. Again, if I wanted red, uh, 255, 0, 0, and we have a red color. And again, if we wanted any other color, if we wanted to mix a color, you know, you would put whatever numbers you'd want in here to mix the numbers up or something like that, you know, to find your color. You could also pull up this. But I think uh, color 3 dot from RGB is more useful than just color 3 dot new is because it's kind of more self-explanatory. If we went back to that other code here, color 3 dot new, and I got a color, let's say just like a random like a teal look at all of these numbers all right it's a little bit more complicated because it has to do with all of these numbers and the decimals so I feel like uh, color 3 dot from RGB is a lot simpler to use that's just my opinion though uh, you can use whatever you guys want but basically does the same thing except uh, these go to 255 and makes the colors whatever whatever you guys get the point but uh, color 3 dot from RGB and color 3 dot new and so the next one that we have is color 3 dot from HSV and basically what this is is you can see it up here the HSV stands for hue saturation and value so you put in a hue which is a, a number from 0 to 1 saturation is a number from 0 to 1 and the value which uh, is brightness is from 0 to 1 so hue saturation you can think of this value as a saturation all right so let's say I just wanted a red color well, I'd put in a zero hue one saturation and a one of brightness and if you guys didn't know the more this hue goes up it, it goes through the rainbow so zero uh, is red and as it goes up to one it changes throughout the rainbow so if I put in 0 0.3 well now we have green 0 0.6 we have blue 0 0.9 we have pink so it goes to the rainbow as we go up that that 0 to 1 scale 
and saturation well it's basically you know how saturated it is if you even understand like uh, if i put in a 0.5 for here it's not a full red color it's kind of like a a lighter red a pink even if you want to call it that you know the less saturation the more like color there is if you want to call it that and the value is the brightness i'm gonna set this back to a full bright red and let's say i wanted to lower the brightness for our color well if i put in half the brightness well you see i have a maroon color now on that square thing there and so it i actually find this kind of useful i haven't really used it a lot but i feel like this would be really useful if you just want to change the brightness of color you know start easily change brightness and shades of the same color i feel like this would be really useful for that case and so we can mess around with these values. Let's say I wanted a white color, or I would put in a zero hue, a zero saturation, which would make it white, and a value of one, so that it's very bright, there's no saturation, and the hue is just zero, which gives us a white color. And if we just set this to zero, it would obviously be a black color, because there's zero uh, things configurations being applied on either hue saturation or the brightness scale and now the last one and probably the most complex out of all of them is color three dot from hex now what this does is we can get colors by uh, like setting the hexadecimal uh, setting the color in hexadecimal format and you know you'd usually use hexadecimal colors like the formatted ones uh, in web design and you know graphic design and all that type of stuff and it's very common to see that there but basically this is how we can put in a uh, color in hexadecimal format and also see it you know in our game all right so uh, it's basically it takes a string and it, it's in the format of a hashtag if you put in rrggbb it's in this format and basically rrgg and bb are two uh, digit hexadecimal numbers representing red green and blue so let's say i wanted a red color i'd put in a string here and then i would say hashtag ff and then four zeros this would give us a red color so i'm gonna set the uh base plates color to this and we'll see what this does and we see the base plate is now a red color so to help this actually make sense of what's going on here, these values can range from 00, 0 to basically FF. And what that means, since this uh, hexadecimal is a base 16 number system, it uses the 16 symbols 0 to 9 and A to F. So 0 to 9 represents the values 0 to 9 and A to F represents the values 15 to 10. I mean, uh, 10 to 15 that's what i would say i got those switched around so by putting ff that means red is has full intensity so let me type in ff 5733 ff means that red uh 255 in rgb you know is, is the full intensity for red the 57 represents again the you know remember the green the rgb so 57 is the green which means the medium kind of, you know, medium dense intensity. I meant to almost said density, but 33, 57, you know, is the kind of in the middle. And 33, it's a lower intensity. Uh, so I hope, hope this makes more sense. So basically, wherever there is that FF symbol is basically where there's like the most intensity. And there's sometimes, you know, a lot of times FF isn't even in there. So if we had like zero, uh, zero, zero, ff00 zero, zero, well then that means that green has full intensity and it would be 0000ff zero, 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 zero for you know the full intensity to be for blue and if this were all uh, f's then that would mean it would be white uh, so this would be the color of white so let's say we wanted to convert hex to regular decimal well we would have to think about um, each uh, hex digit represents a power of 16 so the rightmost digit is uh, 16 to the power of 0 for the units place and the next digit to the left is 16 to the first power for the 16th place so if we wanted to convert AD to decimal well A as we know you know because uh, A to F is from zero, uh, 10 to 15 
So it would be A is 10, D is 13. So we actually uh, have to figure this out. So AD, you know, I'm just going to put this in a string so it doesn't error. It's actually uh, seeing this, AD is equal. And then we need to do some math, which would be 10, um, which is, you know, what A represents. And we need to multiply that uh, to 16 to the first power. And then we add this again to uh, parentheses 13, which is what D represents, times 16 to the uh, zero power. And uh, out of all of this, this would give us, uh, uh, it would give us 160 plus 13, which is 173. So that's how you can convert, uh, you know, hex values to actual decimal values like RGB. So you can, you know, it's kind of a cool thing to help you actually understand these. And yeah guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.